Bow, and I'm a sophomore at Upper Cape Tech in Auto Body. I worked with my dad on cars kind of as I grew up, and I don't know, it just piques my interest, and I'm very artistic, so I like to do the art aspects of it. We were assigned a hood, and uh, we had to do body work on it, we had to spray it. We could come up with any design that we wanted, and yeah, we had to like trace it out on different paper, and we could cut it out, and that's how you do it. <laughs> I'm really into like tribal art, so that's where my tiger, it's kind of like a tribal based design. And then I just thought that it'd be cool to put the claw marks going through the hood. So I added detail with airbrush and put red around it, so it really brought it alive. We drew this, and then Mr. Catino printed it on a computer paper, and then we traced um, the design from the overhead onto the tape, and it looked like this, pretty much. This has a bunch of different good aspects. Uh, the teachers make it a good environment. My name is Robert Palanza and I teach collision repair. Our program starts from freshmen and goes to seniors. We do panel replacement, frame machine, painting, airbrushing, glass replacement. Um, we learn detailing a car. We took apart a whole exterior of a car and interior and put it back together. We've learned how to uh, change tires and um, suspension, check oil, stuff like that. They can do any trade that's out there, no matter if it's like painting and decorating, so they can use their painting skills to do painting. Um, the mechanical side, the taking things apart, they can assemble different varieties of things by looking at either pictures or from taking it apart, putting it back together. Um, welding, so they can be a welder because they do welding here in shop. And from a frame machine, you learn how to pull different areas of the like, vehicles or how to pull stuff at a different angle, how to straighten things out, even cutting stuff with metal with the uh, sawzall blade or plasma cutter. So you can do like uh, metal art. All the metal panels that are hanging from the ceilings from my partner Gabe Catino. He does it with the sophomores and the kids learn how to do metal refinishing. So they learn how to put like an edge primer and make a dent and then they learn how to fix the filler. They prime it, seal it and paint it. So it's all different stages of metal working, metal refinishing and painting. We have an um, advisory program here at school. And we have some of our past graduates on our advisory board that work in the trade. So we have one that works in Plymouth. We have another student that's in NASCAR. They gradu graduated from our shop in East from Wareham. He did the Red Sox, paints NASCARs, and he does the driver's helmets down there in NASCAR. He puts all the graphic designs and so forth. So we have a few students that come back, and some of them still work locally. Next year is working on live jobs. People come in and bring their cars, get to fix them, paint them. The people live in towns that support the school for the five districts. So if you smash up your car or get a dent or whatever, we bring it here, we give you an estimate on it, what it costs to fix. Might take a little bit longer for us to fix it, but it's a lot cheaper than outside. <laughs> My parents wanted me to go towards cosmetology, and then when they found out that I chose auto body, they're kind of shocked. Yeah, I enjoy it. I'm glad I picked this up. I also designed a fender, so I chose a design that I would like to go with the body of the shape of the fender. So I chose a dragon with flames, and I made my own colors with it in my design. My favorite memory is probably finishing my fender and finishing my hood. I feel like I did a really good job with it, and it came out well.